Rush, I suspect you were looking for a reaction from your side, and you certainly got it today. Uh, yeah, I, th I think I think we've been good in spells in the last month, but not consistently over 90 minutes. Um, I thought that was a 90 minute full throttle um, front foot performance, really. So um, I'm, I'm proud of the lads in a way because they've gone through a lot of adversity the last last month. Um, but I'm also disappointed we haven't won the game. Yeah, nearly won it at the end with through Maury Morgan Smith. It looked uh, looked as though that was destined to give you all three points. Yeah, the, the, the full bass come out of nowhere to clear it off the line. Um, but we've had some good chances in, you know, um, Ashley Emmings header, Joe Folks, it's his toe and goes out of play. Nat Percival from the corner, you know, I'm delighted with the chances we've made today because that's what we've really been lacking lately. So, um, you know, a good performance against a very good team. Um, but yeah, still a, still a tough one to take. Good to end the, the uh, goal drought though with that uh, early goal and it got you off to a good start which is what you must have been looking for. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we were, the front two today um, caused their, their back three all sorts of bother, um, airily, physically, pace, runners down the side and, um, and we, took the, we took the game to them. Um, we thought it was the right thing to do today and we definitely built some momentum with, with the crowd and ourselves in the first ten minutes. You seem very low after the we spoke after the, the Chester game. What's it been like uh, this week? Low. <laughs> it's um, I'm here, I'm here to do well for the football club, so I take everything home with me. It's um, it's a great passion of mine. Um, but all you can do um, through tough times is work hard and get the lads together. And I know I've got a good group in there, but a group that hasn't um, been doing enough for me personally. Not for me, but hasn't been doing enough. Because um, when they do, um, you see performances like that more often than not. And did you do anything different uh, after Tuesday, you know, in training and then coming into the game today? It's a tough one going Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, because you've still got to get the rest in and the recovery. And you know, we, we, we're playing a lot of um, familiar faces every, every game, and they're tired. And you, you know, Kyle Lissenmore's ran himself into the ground the last six weeks. He, he, he can't walk at the moment. And, and that's what I want from players. I need people running through brick walls. For me, it looked like it looked like they were today. And have you had a chance to have that chat after the game to say, OK, what was the difference today to what we've seen in recent weeks? Um, I think they reflect on that. I, I don't need to tell them. I, they need to be more consistent. They know that um, throughout the season. It's been disappointing. So um, just because one good performance, I don't, I don't come away from the facts. Um, you've got to do it week in, week out uh, if you want a career in the game. And nice to have that performance in front of the home supporters after what's been a you know, dismal few weeks. Yeah, yeah, it has. Um, like I said, we've been really close, I believe. I thought we were excellent against Darlington. We couldn't find the net. I thought Boston, I thought there was only one winner. Chester, really tight game. Um, you know, I don't want to see a Banbury performance again. Um, but that was more us, that was me, that was the front foot football. And sometimes it just clicks, and it did today. Um, but I am slightly disappointed we haven't won the game. And it just, as you say, it does show what they're capable of because that side's second and table. Yeah, it does. Um, but you've got to do that more than once every five games. You've got to do it at least every other, do you know what I mean, um, in this league, a ruthless, relentless league. Um, you've got to be at it every week. And I, we haven't been that. So as much as I'm proud of them, it also disappoints me that we can have that performance because it shows you where what we have been missing at times. Thank you. That's great. You obviously been out a couple today. You, you're grateful for the, the free week, so to speak. I mean, it's not an empty week, but no game to worry about. At least you can rest some bodies. I suppose uh, after good performances, you want to you want to go again, don't you? You know, but we've got to have a bit of pride in our game, our, ourselves. Uh, the last eight games, um, I ain't looking anywhere else but ourselves at the moment. But yeah, um, Nat's now out for four games, which is really disappointing. And I thought he um, he, he showed good maturity today. Um, and Christian Pierce should, should hopefully be back for next week. Anyone else? Yeah, that's enough to be going yeah, on. Yeah, um, you, you mentioned Kai, is it? Yeah, it's so hopefully a bit of rest. No injuries, just, just a bit of rest, yeah. The, the, the kids come from playing no games to playing 12 games in succession, um, running his heart out for the cause. Um, but he'll be, he'll, he'll be um, robust enough for that come a couple of years' time and he's got to keep churning them out. Yeah, and not to embarrass him, but I suppose to an extent, is he the, the example you, you point to in a sense that he's been a bit fearless, he's been a bit rugged and he's got stuck in him. That's what you wanted from the rest of the group, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, he's, listen, he's um, took his opportunity with both hands and um, he's not going to let anyone have his shirt. Simple as that. He's, you, it's, uh, it's a team game, but it's one of the most selfish industries going and uh, you've got to look after yourself sometimes. Um, and if everyone does that, the team does well.